Hello everyone. So today we have two incredible forces against each other and I am sure a lot of you are curious on who wins this fight. You know, this won't be a deep explanatory video on any but straight up feats. Cosmological and tiering hierarchies alongside standard battle assumptions, assumptions with hacks abilities. If you like SCP content, Marvel content, or DC content, then make sure to like, share, comment, and most importantly, please do to subscribe. Now let's start with um, World War Hawk, and let's see how far this gets. Now he has tanked a whisper from Black Black Bolt and tells him he came here to hear him scream, which is something very dangerous. In all honesty, dude has some decent feats, but this is child's play. Dude screamed and then Hulk just went straight to like one shot him. Another thing here is that even tech created to suppress his power doesn't do shit to him. And this is impressive because he's from um, Tony Stark, right? If I remember clearly. And then Stark is a beast, man. Like if he creates something meant for you, you're likely taking an L. But every time he does something to stop the Hulk, except from the one time he used the Hulkbuster armor and it worked, it does not because Hulk is just too strong. He literally destroys Iron Man's Hulkbuster suit but there is more. He one shot the um, She-Hulk and you know this force he used on her is like minimal force but yet so strong that she says God help us. She-Hulk is extraordinarily powerful let's be real here all right maybe she may get a video from me who knows but she's extremely extremely powerful. He also one shot Ares, the god of war. Now you see, Ares is underrated, but he's very respected by most gods as gods in Marvel, especially the Greek and Asgardian gods naturally exist as peak high alto beings to boundless in existence, and they use diminished forms on lesser high altar to mortal planes because of their size and power. This isn't a true form of Ares. But on Earth, that case scenario doesn't hold up because of the nature of Earth, the Sun, and the Moon in Marvel Comics. Doing that to Ares and placing him out of commission is easily a high one a striking feat or high out reversal. That is impressive. And he did that like casually. But there's more. See, Hulk was so much stronger than his warbound teammates, yet they are all on his previous level. Or his base self and let me give you a, a peek sneak or a sneak peek however it's called on what the previous hulk was capable of he has been recognized as the strongest hero on earth by marvel which would include diminished thor sentry hercules and much more he is one of god's most powerful creatures i just need to do a video on hulk really because Hulk's whole entire thing right from day one has always been linked to this, the one below all, the one above all nonsense. He can destroy the dark dimension, which is a boundless realm beyond eternity. He is constantly holding back. He storms Gamora, who had the five infinity stones. Uh, he easily has so many boundless feats, yet his world war persona is stronger than this. He tanks a full on heavy blast from Human Torch and one shot him in the process coming out unfazed. You may think that is not impressive. Human touch on the high end and this dude has enough power to nuke the entire multiverse if need be all right so just get that straight okay not eternity level but at least the dude is multiversal he can nuke infinite amount of multiverses and infinite dimensions do this casually into the ultraversal ranges get that straight all right he bullies the thing who is insanely durable and has hurt formidable fools the thing has hurt people like Galactus, Thanos, Silver Surfer, and Joe Fixie, literally, and has tanked attacks from them. Dude is probably one of the most durable characters in all of Marvel, easily casually high one A durability and, and above. So let's not even go there. But Hulk, I don't know if his punches negate durability, but it was not looking good, bro. It's not looking good. Big man things, yeah. It's not looking good. He resists mental control from Doctor Strange. That alone is insane. Like you cannot even get in his head. If you can resist such a thing from Doctor Strange, I wonder who can get into your head. Really. Tanks attack from Doctor Strange, armed Zom, and then goes ahead to beat Strange to a pulp. Now Doctor Strange's hands got broken so he really couldn't cast spells on a professional level, reducing him to a way lesser level. But dude, fused with Zom. He's not, he didn't even bother to try Zom. But just know that's an easily eternity tier feed. Even beating Doctor Strange to start with is above eternity tier. 
so let's get out of, out of the way sentry says hulk is the only one he can strike with full power oh boy well to have a great insight on how strong sentry is i deleted the sentry video i had because i want to make another one but um go to i'll link my superboy prime versus um bob reynolds video or sentry video down below it has a good amount of stuff there and just see what the sentry is likely even capable of doing dude is insane hulk damages sentry and vice versa their attacks was destroying the city from its little leftovers he gets so angry that a single step breaks the continent <laughs> you may just a lot of you just think oh that's a continental feel i keep saying it doing that to the planet earth is you see you see destroying a country in marvel on earth i can equate that to destroying an universal construct why because the earth <laughs> the earth existed even before oblivion existed the earth is a conceptual primordial realm it's, it's like a space of its own it, it contains all magic it is the nexus of all realities to every point of universal boundless whatever realm you're looking for in creation earth is gaia gaia is earth gaia is stronger than nearly every character every god you find in marvel she's embodiment so it's like destroying a continent on earth is as good as destroying eternity because earth alone is the heart of eternity and beyond far beyond so that feat you see there is insane it's better for him to do that on earth than to go to have such an outburst in the multiverse who would like to destroy eternity with that outburst so let's let's just keep it straight here <laughs> he beat hercules to the point hercules was begging so you know this is funny actually because <sighs> this doesn't even happen with like when hercules fights thor though thor holds back a lot thor and hercules are boundless beings like hercules started to beg hercules is the god of strength across the multiverse oh my god i also think i do, I do need to do a video on hercules because a lot of people may doubt may, may not see this as a huge feat this is probably one of the biggest feats you have on this list. How about we go on to um, SCP-6A2. Oh, sorry, I forgot one more important feat. Sorry, I'm just chill. I have to say it. Right? <laughs> he claps Ghost Rider away and one shot him. And his power is boundless. Now, I, I believe the hype around Ghost Rider in the community is already enough. So I don't think I have to go or even say much about how strong that feat is. To do that to ghost rider you all on the other side can already have a, a wide range of how strong that is to clap with so much force he quenched <laughs> he, he bro ghost rider flies away but that's not just it though it wasn't the vengeance fighting but don't know blade don't know is he blaze johnny blaze sorry still it is impressive to quench that fire with brute force but guess what the safety was actually off and it was the actual ghost rider he one shot but he didn't die not really fights because the ghost rider found him innocent so even quench that fire in the first place is as good as quenching the fire of hell and you don't want me to start going to how high hell skills in marvel ghost rider is like the fucking embodiment of vengeance that fire is literal conceptual flames you see on his head so <laughs> i don't <laughs> well it is it is just it's just wonderful man the world war hulk is very strong far stronger than savage hulk by default due to training on sakar and his base strength being filled with normal anger than usual with more anger than usual but as he kept getting angrier then he became an issue honestly speaking so um now as for scp 682 thing the scp 682 is mostly like a, a hacks character mostly based on hacks and a conceptual form now you see the lizard like base scp 682 is already powerful enough that uh just by the fact of adaptation dude already skills above like the tree of knowledge and shit like that is, is the son of the scarlet king and is bound to support the scarlet king so like he can range from like anywhere to multiverse or whatever whatever it just depends on how you keep beating him and killing him over and over and over he just keeps coming back immune to that to the point like and if you're already like strong as hulk you beat him with that level of strength and being angry bro is coming back immune to it so it's like you then hulk just has to keep getting like more angry more powerful and then it's just like it just continues going like that but like let's give his feet so so scp 682 exists as an idea on a similar level as scp 3125 
He has reality warping, antimatter manipulation. SP682 is merely a projection of an alien abstract concept. It is neither alive nor dead and cannot be removed from existence without affecting the entirety of its abstract self in the alien nosphere. The collective unconscious which links to the entire multiverse. Right. So it exists as the physical manifestation of SCP-6820-8, a metaphysical idea embodying the difference between life and death. It is the abstract of life and death. Right. So and he has been he has regenerated from being erased from his from history twice. Right. He can force aside the fabric, <laughs> very fabric of reality. If SCP-682 was ever to be destroyed, it, it could result to the end of the universe, which is about right since he is non-corporeal and an abstract necessity. It's stated by Dr. Kral to be simply a projection of the true 6A2 into our reality, with attacking it being the equivalent of poking your fingers into a balloon. You are inside it, but still outside of it. This new set, this new set was basically reality manipulation and total interference. Right? So like, SCP-682 can, right? Bro, he can literally do almost anything. He can manipulate his biology, he can create diseases, he can create illusions, he can create copies of himself, he can manipulate the mind, which is useless on Hulk. And I feel like, dude is on, like he's broken, right? So it's like his strength feats correspond with reality warping and manipulation, which skills to being far beyond the tree of life, not law and knowledge, like 3A12. And the others mentioned. Being above 6A2, beings above 6A2 are just above the narrative of what 6A2 has projected into the story, as he has serious plots and narrative manipulation, like being the child of Karak and being weaker. As for speed, it is irrelevant, clearly. So it's like, who wins between these two monsters? Like, I didn't even have to say much on 6A2, but it's like, bro. Like the issue with 68 is literally its hacks abilities. They are excess and nearly impossible to get around unless you are stronger. But let's see who wins. The thing we need to establish with Hawk is that Hawk is Hawk. The key thing is his ability to get progressive via anger and that of 682 is via death. But here's the trick. Hawk beat Savage to current Starship can all enter a world breaker state which is is like Hulk's own warrior um, warrior madness state. Um, dude is just straight for the beat down, but what makes these personas differ is because is because there are different Hulks with different goals and kind of look different, even in height and size. They are just the same because of their narrative importance. World War Hulk, to be specific, as the video says, He's not just a very angry Hulk than usual, but rather his persona makes him stronger than other versions except the current ones because he lost something dear to his fundamental nature of Hulk, making his base already far above his savage form, as stated verbatim in the comics, and I briefed up. Hulk is um, in this state is nearly is easily tier zero, no argument, and when you add more anger on top of this, he moves even higher on top of that base strength. If Doctor Strange can't do shit, Sentry as well, and even God, bro, then there's a problem. As for Hack's resistance, the issue with 682 using Hacks on the Hulk is that it is pointless as Hulk has come across anything possible. She like corrosion, poison, reality warping, when he can clap out universal structures away or fight conceptual mystical beings beyond comprehension. But 682 on the other hand, against this particular Hulk, 682 as in the lizard loses horribly because it is far weaker and 682 can't be immune to physical alterations such as combat because it is a necessary state of being needed for any form of higher advancement. But the fact is, it has a higher state and its body is just a casing for it. It has a cap to which that body can do things, which it just gets ripped apart by Hulk, who has an insane healing factor. But what about the conceptual form of 6A2 which rivals 3A12? He regenerated from being removed from history twice. He's the concept of life and death. 
something happened to it then the verse sort of goes with it scp is powerful but it scales to the highest sides of the altai in marvel at best you would need something like current hulk to one shot the strongest 6a2 but warbreaker hulk loses to conceptual 6a2 but wins against the lizard who still scales to tier zero arguably tell me what you think down below peace